Thanks for joining us for today's webinar, Getting the Most from Your New Duralabel System. I'm Brian McFadden, a compliance expert with Graphic Products. This webinar will cover a few big picture topics. We'll start with how thermal transfer printers work and how to choose the right supplies for your labeling application. Then we'll cover a few ways to make label designs using DuraSuite and LabelForge design software. We're going to start today with a basic explanation of how your printer works. Most of the DuraLabel printers use a thermal transfer process, which is different from your typical office printer. Understanding that process will help you keep your printer running smoothly. A thermal transfer printer uses a printing ribbon, a thin plastic film, with a coating of colored resin on one side. That's the ink for the printing process. The paper is your label stock, usually made of vinyl with an adhesive backing. When you print a label, the resin side of the printing ribbon is pressed against the smooth side of your label stock, and together the two are passed underneath the print head. That print head includes a line of tiny heating elements. When those elements heat up, the colored resin gets transferred from the ribbon onto the label stock, thermal transfer. Turning those elements on and off as the supplies move past the print head creates a pattern on your printed label. It's very fast, and the result is very durable. The limitation of thermal transfer printing is that the color of your print is determined by the supplies that are loaded. Your label stock is the color of your background, and your printing ribbon is the color of your print, so you get a basic two-color label. To make multicolor labels, you need a label stock that has some colors already in place, like these danger labels. The red header is already there, so if you use a black ribbon to print your details, you'll get a white label with a red header and black information, three colors. That's how you make an ANSI-compliant danger label, and the basic idea is the same for any number of colors or designs. Since you need a different label stock for different types of labels, there are a lot of options. That's not just different designs, but also different materials with different attributes. It's important to match your supplies to your application. Most of the time, you'll probably use a premium vinyl label stock in a color of your choice, and a premium black or white printing ribbon. These are our most popular materials, and they work great for a wide variety of situations. But some applications need something different. The most common problem that our customers run into with premium vinyl is that it won't properly adhere to certain surfaces, especially things like rough concrete or powder-coated metal. For those kinds of surfaces, our ultra-aggressive label stock will do much better. The next most common problem is chemical resistance, especially in facilities with chemical cleaning sprays. Harsh washdowns can scour the text right off a label. For these situations, we recommend a specialty printing ribbon, often our petroleum-resistant or Duracem varieties. These ribbons have a more chemical-resistant resin or ink. This way, your print stays printed. There are over 50 supply types, so we won't discuss them all right now. If you aren't sure what to choose, just give us a call. We're always glad to help you find the best solution for your needs. I'll show the best contact information for our support team at the end of the webinar. Now that you've chosen your supplies, it's time to load them into your printer. Since different printers have slightly different loading steps, we'll provide links to the different loading videos at the end of this webinar. All right, now that we've covered your printer and the supplies, let's talk about label designs. What's the best way to start there? It depends on what kind of label you need to make. For example, you might just need what we call a basic identification label, a single line of text. You might need a more complex, standardized label, like a GHS chemical label, or you may need a completely custom label design with text and images that you can rearrange. There are easy ways to make all of these label designs. You just need the right tool for the job. Let's start with that basic identification label. It's just a single line of text in bold lettering centered on the background. Clean and simple. There's an easy way to make these labels in DuraSuite, one of the programs included with your DuraLabel printer. We'll use the pipe marking module of DuraSuite. It's right here when you start the program. When you get to the pipe marking module, you'll see a lot of options. Don't panic. For a basic identification label, we'll ignore most of those options. There's only a couple of things you need to do. First, click in the text box over here on the left and type in what you want your label to say. Over on the right, above the arrows, enter the width of your roll of label stock and then how tall you want your letters to be on that stock. I'm using a 3-inch wide roll of label stock and I want 2-inch high letters on it. By default, the label will automatically extend to fit the text you've typed. Make sure the label length shown here will fit in the space you have. The quick preview down below is just an estimate. If you want something more accurate, go through the file menu and choose print preview. If you're ready to print, just go through the file menu and choose print. There's your label. This process is the fastest and easiest way to make one of these simple labels. For more complex, standardized labels, DuraSuite has other modules. 
you can get back to that module selection screen with the module button here at the top of the window. This window shows you the different choices. I'll go over these modules pretty quickly for now, but I'll have the links for more detailed how-to videos at the end of the webinar. First, there's the arc flash module. This is for electrical hazard labels that comply with the requirements of the NFPA 70E standard and its Canadian relative CSA Z462. You can fill in the blanks in this label template or even import data from a spreadsheet, and DuraSuite will save your labels in its own searchable database. That way it's easy to update and reprint any labels you need in the future. Below that option, there are the pipe marker modules. We've already looked at the basic pipe marking section. When you actually want to label pipes, you'll notice that some of those options we ignored before are based on the common ANSI ASME A13-1 standard. The other section under pipe marking for ammonia refrigeration pipes follows the more complex IIAR standard for that type of pipe system. Next, there's the NFPA diamond and the RTK color bar modules. These let you search a chemical database to find the chemical you need to label, edit the database if needed, and then print out a bold label based on the NFPA 704 standard. These labels are geared to help emergency responders and have also been used for basic chemical safety in a facility. Then there are the GHS and HAZCOM 2012 modules. GHS is the international standard for labeling hazardous chemicals, while HAZCOM 2012 is OSHA's rule set that generally aligns with GHS. Both systems share a database, so you can find a chemical or enter its details, make sure everything looks right, and print compliant labels for international or domestic use. If you need safety labels for dangerous chemicals in your workplace, these are your best choices. Finally, the Label Designer module gives you a way to create or adjust more complex label designs. If you're creating a completely new label from scratch, though, you may find that the Label Forge software is an easier approach. Label Forge is also included with your DuraLabel printer, and it's designed for creating custom labels from scratch. You can use text, standardized symbols and barcodes, and the program can even pull data from a spreadsheet if you want to make a batch of labels from a single design. I'll show you the steps for a basic notice sign with some text and a symbol, but all label designs in Label Forge work the same way. When you open Label Forge, it'll show you a blank canvas. First, select Label Setup. Make sure the label and ribbon types shown match the supply that's loaded in your printer. For this label, we'll use the Notice 4x6 label stock. When you close this window, that blank canvas will be adjusted to match the label stock you chose. Next, choose Text from the object menu on the left. Choose your font settings if you'd like to change them. Click the button for Add Text and type the desired message. You can change the font and size settings after typing, too, and you can just drag the text into place on the label. Next, we'll add the symbol. Back on that object menu, choose Symbols and find the image you want by browsing the categories. Click on the symbol you want to add it to the design. Then resize it with the toolbar buttons and drag it into place. Once the design looks good, just click Print. It's that easy to make a custom label in LabelForge. If you have any questions as you move forward with your labeling projects, our support team can help. We can walk you through almost any use for your DuraLabel printer, and that support is free for the life of the system. You can reach us for personal help by phone or web using the contact information shown here, and we've also created resources like how-to videos that you can use at any time. The support team at Graphic Products thanks you for joining us today and for choosing DuraLabel. I'm Brian McFadden. Stay safe out there.